Tamara and I'm back with you for how to start a dance studio from scratch and today I am talking to you about how to choose your name for your dance studio. So this was the second step that I took towards building my um, dance studio and company, Chase Dance Company. So we're gonna get, let's dive right in. Step number one would be whether or not you would like to include parts of your personal name in with your studio name. So meaning your first name, last name, middle name, any type of personal name in with your studio. So Chase Dance Company, I did decide to go with my last name being Chase because I thought it, it insinuates movement, chasing your dreams, you know, a little bit like chasse, chase, move, go. So it worked for um, the business and the brand. So I did go with Chase Dance Company, but that's your personal preference, whether or not your name is going to suit your vision and your brand um, for your dance studio. So make sure those are compatible, which really feeds into um, step or tip number two, which would be to make sure that your name is going to display your vision for your branding and your company mission and orientation. So Chase Dance Company, I wanted it to be very bold, um, innovative, professional, clean, minimalist, straightforward, a little bit urbanized, professional, um, I might have said that before, but these are all the things that I wanted the name Chase Dance Company to insinuate when people hear it or see it. So make sure that the name that you're choosing or thinking about encompasses all of your branding. Choosing your name is pretty much like one of the most important things because it's going to be the thing that sticks with it forever. Yeah, you don't want to have to get you don't want to get in six months into your business and then be like, wow, our name really isn't working for us. So then we have to go all the way back and remarket and rebrand and clean through the whole system. Rather, just take a few months, take your time when you're deciding, and make sure that it's something that's really going to um, sit with your vision and with what you want to go. The, pa the path, where you want the path of your dance studio to go. So step number three for choosing your name would be, do you want to include dance studio, dance conservatory, dance company, school of dance, dance academy, dance center, there's so many options. So all of those terms in your business name also insinuates a meaning. So for example, um, dance studio would say like well-trained entertainment dancers, like almost like a triple threat, okay? Dance Academy would sort of insinuate that you are doing a little bit more practical work with your students and maybe some theory work when they get older. Dance Academy, it's, it's an academy, right? Um, dance Conservatory would insinuate that it's a little bit more serious um, training, long hours, maybe, a, maybe it's a full curriculum with exams. Um, like a practical study program. And Dance Center, I would say, is similar to a dance studio. And what else was there? Oh, and Dance Company, which, Chase Dance Company, how can I forget that? So Chase Dance Company, adding a company into your dance studio name would insinuate that you have a professional dance company. Um, and that is how we started. It was a company first, and then I started offering classes, which and that led to building clientele of students, which led to opening up a school, or a studio, whatever you want to call it. So I just kept the company name and then ran it throughout. Because I also want to, my vision for the future of it is to have a whole bunch of dance, different dance revenues underneath the company name. So the company would be the main business. And then branching off into all of these other little um, revenue streams. So then you get to decide, okay, do I want my name in the personal name in the name? Or do I want to add Dance Studio, Dance Center, Dance Academy? Or it doesn't even have to be dance at all. It doesn't even have to have the word dance in it. So step number four would be to go online. And I recommend going to thesaurus.com. And you can type in words that you like. So if you want to get your notebook out and just start making a list of words that um, you would like to include in your name, Everything. So if you are, if you want to be more like girly and have a lot of preschool programs, then maybe you're thinking like pink, glitter, um, twinkle toes, tutus. So you can write down all of these words that you would consider having into your having in your studio name. 
go to thesaurus.com and type those words in and get the, get some really nice synonyms and some other um, different adjectives and things that could work that you might not have thought of that would be a little bit more unique and sound a little bit nicer. So definitely check out thesaurus.com or some other websites where you can um, interchange some words and definitely look at the definitions of different words as well. So like I said previously, it doesn't have to have the word dance in it. You can think of something else that, you know, would be a little bit different and unique and, and still insinuate a dance program. Step number five, narrow down your options. So you should have three names by now for your dance studio. Okay, head on over to Google. Yes, everybody knows Google. Google those names and make sure that there is not a dance studio that's already operating underneath that name, especially in the same state or country. I think maybe different countries might be okay, but you definitely want to make sure that you're not, you do not have the same name as somebody that's local or even national. You can always, I mean, there's so many word options. Think of something to change it. Think of something else. So head on over to Google, punch that in, and make sure that it is clear and good to go. Then you also want to include your friends and your family. I mean, your following in your tribe really starts with the people that are in your circle and that you spend your time with. And everybody likes to feel included in, in your process. So if you go onto your Facebook and just post, like say, hi guys, I'm starting a dance studio. I have these three names that I'm trying to decide between. Let me know your thoughts and opinions and which ones really work the best and which ones you like. I mean, people really respond well to that. I've also done that for all of my little projects. I'm always asking for opinions and um, thoughts from my friends. So definitely ask your friends and family what they think and what their favorites are. You want to make sure that your name is easy to say, like just rolls right off the tongue. There's no tongue twisters. And you also want to make sure that when you write it, that it's, it's simple, it's clear, it's not going to get confusing when you try to turn that into a web domain when people are typing it. Okay. Speaking of domains, we're going to go on to step six, which is once you have your name, you've Googled it, it's clear, good to go, you're going to head over and you're going to look at your domain options. So you want to make sure that the domain is available because sometimes you might have your studio name and it's perfect, never marry your name, marry the first name that you think of. You might have a name that's perfect and then you go over to buy the domain and somebody already has a domain. And either you're going to pay an arm and a leg for it or you're going to have to change it and think of something else. So that might lead you to have to change the entire studio name or maybe just alter a few letters or abbreviations. So head over to um, some domain websites, GoDaddy, Wix, and just see what's available. So after you've checked your name, you've bought the domain, now you have your name, it's ready to go, then you need to head over to Facebook and create your Facebook page. Okay, I did this first because this sort of just helped to build the awareness and spread the word out to my friends and also just to make sure that I claimed that name on Facebook as well. So I, I do believe you can have, two people can have the same name on Facebook if it's in a different location. I'm not quite sure, but just double check on that. Um, but yeah, head over to Facebook and make a Facebook page, okay? Then obviously you'll get your logo and photos going a little bit later, which will be a whole nother video. But head over to Facebook, make that page, put up a simple photo and start getting your friends involved, okay? Then you can post on that Facebook page from here on out your entire process of starting your dance studio, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys got some tips on how to choose your name for your dance studio. So definitely decide whether or not you are going to use your personal name or not for your name. Make sure that the domains are free, Google it, make sure you have no competitors in the area, go to Facebook, make your Facebook page, and check out thesaurus.com also to have a play on words to make sure that you have something unique and different. Make sure it rolls off the tongue nicely and make sure it's typed out smoothly and will not get confused for abbrevi abbreviations or double letters. Okay, that was a mouthful, but thank you guys so much for watching. And I would really appreciate if you actually go down and just comment some of your name ideas. I'll also bounce some back with you, um, maybe on how to change it or make it a little bit better if you need any help. Okay, thanks guys. I will see you here next week for your next step on starting a dance studio from scratch.